Allons-y. Good. So now we make our transition to four-year-olds. And it's really, really clear, you can see, that we need to be the best coach possible for every horse as an individual. And you make your training plan according. There isn't a system that you follow every single horse, A, B, C, D, E. And for me on this horse, the most important thing, you can clearly see she's tight in the back. She swishes her tail, she holds herself. And this is not in defense in my eyes, to the rider. Yeah, this is in that she has tightness in her muscles and they have to become loose. And so already yesterday, or even Friday, when I first saw this combination, I really like Lindsay's creativity of, of getting this horse a little more elastic, yet not crooked. Big, big difference. Of getting her loose without getting her too crooked. And then riding her straight. Because if you would ride this horse by the book, A straight, in front of my leg, you'll really upset her because she's gonna feel attacked against her tightness. And because she's four years old, you can start to manipulate the hind legs and the back one. Now she gets nice, now she's flowing. That was really nicely done, Lindsay. And there she's gliding across the ground really nicely. Now it's a new side, yeah, exactly. And if you wanna ride that little Ranvere position, I like that, where you do a little bit the right shoulder and address the, the hind leg and then straighten her again. Don't live in that position. Lovely, right there, that's lovely. Just keep doing your thing right now, this is nice. I love what you're doing right now, it's really good. Good. I want you to be free today. I told you about what I wanted yesterday, right? Now today I wanna to expand that on allowing you to go to your positions you want, but just watch that you have control of placing her legs every single inch on the way there to where you put her, that she doesn't escape. Yep, that your positioning work is not a way out for her. It's a way that she has to articulate her joints more and use her muscles more, not go away from it. You're doing really well right now. Good, 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 good. Lindsay, that was awesome. That was so much better than yesterday, okay? Then you got engagement. Yeah, if she gets crooked, when we try to close her behind, she doesn't get engaged at all. She leaks and she steps sideways and she learns the way out of engagement. That's it, you wanna get her supple for then the commitment that when you wanna ride an engaging transition, she doesn't get to wiggle left or right. Otherwise, it's not engagement, it's sliding and getting crooked and cheating. Oh, and you have good balance today so far. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Beautiful. Now ride her a little bit more forward thinking again, just to get reach through her body. A little bit forward, exactly. Reach and freedom. And then you'll close her again when you're ready. But ride a whole long side, a little bit more reaching and through the body. Good. That's nice. On the next long side, go back to bringing her together again, exactly. That we're getting her elastic, telescopic, and supple. Good. And after you get your baseline, you then, oh, good idea. I was just about to go there. Awesome. Not bad. You rode that nicely. You stayed stable. You didn't overreact. You guided her through it to let her find it. One more time to solidify it. Let her feel the exercise you're working on, that she understands it. Good. Good riding. Good riding. Good riding. Nicely done. What's your plan? What next? I'd like to do a no trail. Okay. And not let her um, swing sideways too fast. Yeah. And so again, I don't think you need that much bend. She cheats. And I want to make sure that she doesn't bend left and fall in right. Your idea is absolutely correct, but we have to make sure she doesn't cheat. 
The more bend you have in the neck, the less control of the shoulders you have. It goes hand in hand, sorry, especially on green horses. The more bend you have, the less control of the shoulders you have. That's it. You want softness of the neck, fluidity of the neck muscles, a soft pole, but you don't want to get the shoulders crooked by bending the neck more. Your plan is really good. Your plan is really good, well thought out. And you're doing what you want, yes? Not reacting to what you think she needs. Big difference. Because in the test you can't tell the judge, hang on a second, I need to do a couple leg yields, and I'll be back. Yeah? Good. Good. And that's what I thought I saw on Friday. You're riding her quite advanced, which I think is great because she needs the work of suppleness and she handles it and you organize it well. That was too cluttered for me, okay? You got in a hurry on that one. Try it on. Start over again, come. You lost the basis there. You got too committed to carrying out what you wanted poorly. She didn't get the memo on that one. She didn't get something positive out of it, exactly. She didn't get something positive out of that one. Yeah, always be willing to leave your idea if you've lost the, the general beautiful qualities, which is the forward desire through it, and the harmonious, good, and the harmonious top line. Good, nice. There she got the benefit of the exercise. Careful, ah, ah, ah. I really didn't like that turn, sorry. You with me? That got all wishy-washy and crooked and overreacting. You lost the shoulder, yep. That was a good turn from left to right. That had fluidity. Organize this turn the same way. That's better, that, there you didn't overreact. I like that much better. You gotta be really quick with this horse. She's the queen of reacting, but she's not the queen of suppleness. So she needs to become as supple as she is in the reactivity to the aids. That's lovely there. Yep. Hey, good. Now stick with that for a second. We're not gonna ride her bending now. Ride her straight now, one time around. Now bring the trot just back a little tiny bit for balance. Don't shut the hind legs down, just balance her. Now ride her a bit more forward again. Now bring her back a little bit again, gradually, but keep the hind legs, keep the hind legs. Just shift the weight, pushing to carrying, and now pushing again. No worries, trot, no, 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 don't take that. That's a way out of trotting. Trot, she's four, exactly. Now cool. And do that less, okay? Do that to about 20% the way you did that. For me, that was a little bit still overdone, like knock it off, don't do that again. Instead, work with her, yeah? Now again, when you're ready, go more forward, next long side. And now bring her back a little bit again. Balance her in a channel. Good, and when you drive her more forward, watch it's not your canter aid. Grow her forward, that she reaches in rhythm and stretches through her body. And that's what she doesn't wanna do, she doesn't wanna stretch. Now bring her back into balance again, gradually, gradually, gradually package it up. Rhythm, balance, connection, hind leg, good, good. Now a little bit more forward again. If you're 10 miles an hour, go to 11 miles an hour. Just a little more forward. Now go to 12. Now go to 13. Now come back to 12. Now 11. Now 10. Good. Now make her supple again. Check on her. But make sure it's supple, not reactive. That you control every single inch of the transition from straight into the supple exercise you want to do. That rhythm remains, fluidity remains, softness and harmony of the body remains. Good, good, really good. I like, there, that's a, that's a good leg yield, perfect. There's left rein and good right bending. And straighten gradually, gradually. 
Stick it out, stick it out. Good, good, good. And now straight, fluidly straight. Really good there. Let's stretch her again. Nice. You can really ride her much like you're doing. You can ride her much more like a mature five-year-old, yeah, than a green four-year-old. Relax, let her stretch. Don't get too busy. Good. 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 When you feel the desire to make her release more, start with it more gradual. And if she doesn't listen, increase a little bit more. But don't have your first reaction be so busy and so extreme, okay? I like what you're doing. It's effective. But I want to I make it a little bit more related to straight, that it's not such a difference. Your idea is fantastic. Just implement it with a little bit more finesse. Good. Lovely. Lovely. Good. And then bring her back up. Good. Really nice, Lindsay. Good. And you have a really good feel for tempo with this horse. You ride effective and you don't chase her. I know you picked on yourself last night when I talked to you. You have too much go in your mind, but you're doing a really good job. Really good job. Ride her straight for a minute. Totally straight. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Good. All the way around the ring. Keep it simple. Ride her straight. She has to deal with that. So do you. Straight and simple. Good. Straight and simple. Good. Good. And now we'll take a walk break. On the next set, we'll start some more gymnastic work. Really good. Straight to the walk, no cheating. Good, very good hind legs. Hey, awesome, that was nice. That was really nice. Good job so far. Really good job so far. When I was in that commenting there about how, how to react to her, could you follow that thought? Yeah. So your desire is spot on, all right? It's spot on. But I want your first reaction to be a small degree of that. And if there's protest or defiance to that, then go ahead more. But don't let your first reaction be so extreme. OK? Because in the end, OK, in the end, the best solution, right, the best solution is that it's the smallest degree of bend, yeah, and yielding to get to the answer of straight. Because then you can fake it, finesse it, and it's still part of articulation, straightness, and beauty. Yeah. Okay, pick her up when you're ready. Now the rules start. And walk again. Good. Easy. That's a nice walk. Good. Good. Now we're going to start sitting, Trot, okay? If you want to rise first for 30 seconds and then sit, I'm fine with that. Whatever you feel gives you the best back. Good. Good. Now we'll do your leg yield down the wall, okay? To get your outer corridor nice. Go about halfway down the wall. If it's good, we're gonna straighten and then ride a circle to the left. So get the outside of the horse. That's nice. Now straighten. And now prepare for a 10 meter half circle left. Get around the inner leg. And now straight on the center line. Straight on the center line, sorry. Good. Now make a half circle just to the center line. And now go down the center line. Straight. Good. When you're ready, 
10 meter half circle to the left. Straight on the wall, straight on the wall. And when you're ready, another transition to a 10 meter half circle left to center line. Good, rib cage, inner leg. Well done, the first half was really good. One more time, rib cage, half circle left. That the second half gets as good as the first half. Good, 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 nope. Try it on, don't get, ah, stay with it. Don't go around it. 10 meter half circle left again. She has to stretch the outside of her body. Good, and go straight. See, she doesn't want to elongate the outside of her body. And I don't want to keep her on a small circle to make her do it because she backs off too much. She has to trust it, release it, straight. Now, half circle, good. She has to stretch the outside of her body. Yes, straight, awesome. One more time when you're ready. That she feels prepared on your inner leg, and then you start the circle. Let the circle do the work for you. Good. I like how you rode that one. That was beautiful. And one more time, half circle to the left when she feels prepared. On a young horse, okay, good. Now we'll change direction any way you'd like and do the same exercise on the right. To me, it makes no sense on a young horse if the first half of your circle isn't good. The second half has zero chance. So let's start with halves and put quality together, yeah? Because they lose balance, they lose connection, and those things that you don't regain by riding and committing to the second half, it just becomes chase and scary. So it becomes a worse experience. If you can't ride a good half the first time, don't even try the second half. And straight again. Get a good quality horse and then your half circle right again. Again, setting them up for success. Nice, straight, beautiful. Now we're gonna add to this. Now you're gonna add shoulder four on the long side between your half circles, but straightness on the center line. Half circle. And straight. Awesome, that's exactly why we're doing it. We're not gonna fix it, we're just gonna keep repeating it to get comfort. Now another half circle. She's not doing anything to resist you. She's trying to figure out how to use her body. And now shoulder four. Good. That's the best shoulder four you've had. And now into your half circle. And ride straight, that was the best half circle. Now prepare for a left half circle. Go straight first, get prepared, new inner leg. And half circle. If it's good, ride a shoulder four. If it's not good, ride her straight. Good, good. Try it on, tempo. Ah, ah, that side, careful. That side, she fakes the bend. She tilts and doesn't really accept the right ring. Awesome. Just stay consistent. Right straight. Right straight. Now prepare, inner leg, and half circle left. Good girl, awesome. If your turn is good, shoulder four left, but not too much bend left. That she really goes around the rib cage into the right rein and right shoulder. There, better, better, better. Now you're half circle, you got it. And straight, good. And now we're tracking to the right again. Prepare first, and then track right. And straighten this down the long side. And now rising trot, that was enough time on a young horse to sit. Now rising trot, awesome. Uphill, good. Now we're gonna reward that work. She, that's beautiful there, by the way. She's more supple, yes, feel this? Nice, now we reward that by letting her stretch a moment. But watch that it's stretch, not freedom. It's not a free-for-all. Yeah, well, there she's elongating her body much better. Gorgeous. There she's truly elongating her body. That's gorgeous, nice. Patter, good. Now it's less complicated. Good, now bring her back up again. Be delicate about it, yeah, nice. She's filling up the bridle much better now, good. And she wants to be straighter now. Good, good. The discipline of those half circles helped you. Yes. It gave you an exercise without overreacting. Now she gets a walk break again to reward that. But ride her to the walk and don't let it get crooked. Hind legs under the center, hind, yeah, good, 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 awesome. Much better, much better. That got much more simple, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. 
So in the end, when you look at a test at training level, first level, yeah, there's not a whole lot to it. But the simple thing is the combination of straight lines and bending lines and transitions. That's about it. So if you always ride curved lines, your horse is lost. It doesn't get the sensation of understanding straight to bending. So you have to practice straight to bending. Then you're riding like a test. That was really nice. What would you like to do in the canter now? Just let her walk, don't do anything yet, just let her walk. I want you to really identify this walk, yeah? She's walking really nicely. It's through the body, yeah? It's calmer, yeah? So try to preserve that now as you pick up the reins. Our job is to never, ever, ever take away beauty of gates, or we're doing a terrible job. Good. I ride with complete love of my horses, I'm sure you all do too. But I'll tell you what, I want the world to love my horse too. And that's how I ride them. I want the world to see how beautiful they are and how incredible beings they are and how they're so in tune with me. I want the world to see that. That's how I ride them, that I represent them, always. I learned that from riding breeding steins because you want the world to love your breeding stein because you make money. Good, that was nice. Never, ever, ever disrupt the gates. When you're ready, pick up the trot. I like that. There you didn't overreact. That was fabulous, Lindsay. Again, this is good. This is good decision making right here. Excellent. You did not overreact at all. Good. This simplicity, yes. Good, she's trying, I love that. We're not gonna chase her out of it because then she gets exactly what she wants, is to get away from it. Good, she has to deal with it, yeah. That's lovely, this is good decision making. This is finesse, you're reading her beautifully here. Yeah. And build it up. Right away the trot you want, without chasing. Yep, want it, but don't chase it, good. Work it out, yeah, work it out. Ah, it's, it's happening quicker, good, good. Yeah, she's much better in that right rein. Take your time, yeah, just stay with it, good. Let it take five seconds longer than you want it to take. That's it, work with it. There are now things, here's the now things. Get off my leg, get off my rein, move off my leg. And then there's developed things, which is balance, suppleness, elasticity. They're all not now things. You work with them to get elasticity. You work with them to get suppleness. You work with them to regain balance. The nows come when they don't listen. Good. Good. Ah, I, love the, I love the finesse of this right now. This is, this is beautiful. This is classy. When you're ready, to the left canter. Ride, ride, ride. Start thinking behind the saddle first. Is the hind leg down and pushing forward? Then I want to get the back through. Ground cover in the back muscles. I want that to go uphill in the withers and shoulders. I want the neck to be soft. I want to go through the pole and then to a nice elastic connection. But cycling it from hind to front. Good. Too often we think about what we feel in our hand when we pick up the gate and we forget everything behind the hand. 
It starts everything from the hind working its way forward to the contact to get the connection of the horse. That's lovely there. Good. You're ready for shoulder four. And then somewhere around V, 10 meter half circle to the center line, just like you did your trot exercise. Well ridden. Well ridden. Now your 10 meter half circle to the center line. And then straight on the center line. Turn left, regroup, no worries. Set her up for a good transition. Ride straight, don't ride shoulder in, she's not ready, she's not set up for success. Don't ride shoulder in yet, yep, get your canter. Get your canter, good. Keep it simple, make your corrections as little as possible, invisible. You get a million bucks if nobody sees your corrections. But she gets the per, good. Now you're half circle left. If it's good, shoulder four. Nice, ride, that's nice. Now get ready for your half circle left. And then your straightness. And yes, there might be some mistakes here. So what? Yeah, good riding. Good, awesome riding. Half circle left. Now we got your talent in use. That was fantastic. There was a lot going on there and you were stable. Beautiful riding right now. Now you're half circle and I hope it's more simple on the center line. If it's not, just deal with it like you did last time. That she's really good in her leg. Yeah, half circle left. And shoulder four. Good. Now full circle left, if the first half is good. No worries. You see, that's the change of bending to straightness, and she gets stiff. When she goes straight, she's not supple, and then she falls apart. She's going to learn that sensation to be comfortable of bending to be straight. Good, no worries. You're doing great, she looks fantastic. And left canter when you're ready. Good job, I love that composure. She's done nothing wrong. It's showing her comfort. Good, good. Yeah, you're working through the tightness. Good, and ride. Yeah, half circle left, good job. Shoulder four. And no circle now, that was enough. Now straight. And let's see how she feels in your right rein now, straight. Good, good. Now we'll ride a lengthening because she's prepared. She's supple, she's good in both reins. Now we have the right to ride more forward without getting stiff and hectic. And now more forward. 11, 12, 13, work your way back. 12, straight and supple under you, rhythm. Canter, canter, she's four, come on, yep, keep her together, good, now let's get her telescopic, we gave her all the excuses, we let her have shoulder four, we did all the things we had, now we have permission, yeah, but do it easy, finessed, now go forward, bigger, 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 now work your way back again, without bending, without, good, Good, good discipline, excellent. Now forward again, 11 miles an hour, then 12, then 13. Good, that you're riding throughness through the numbers. Now work your way back, 12, 11, ride it, ride it. Back one more number, ride it. And now forward one more number. When that number feels good, go to the next number forward. When that feels good, go to the next number forward. Now work your way back, but don't skip numbers. If you don't like 12, don't go to 11. Yeah, that you always think about the hind legs and the balance and the connection. Good, and when these get numbers get easy, you go through them much more rapid. Awesome. Now she gets a break, that was awesome. Back to trot, connected. You're going great, it's beautiful. Back to trot, good. Solidify the trot, new muscles. Yep, watch that, yep, watch that falling out behind. Trot on, trot on, trot on, trot on. No, 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 trot, you don't need that. Awesome, just ride it, she'll find it. Good. 
There. Now she found it. Good. See, now she found it.